Right, so here's my trade recap for today. Um, took a loss or oh, during the London session, right? So I'm still testing the lower time frame, um, entries on demo, during the live session. But so I won't really be sharing that until I've got a firm grasp and understanding on those entries. Right. So in this entry, we see that this candle here actually already closed above all this consolidation and above this four hour and weekly zone that I had. So when that happened, I waited for this next candle to flip down first. And then when it rejected this zone here after grabbing liquidity, I entered on the flip of the candle. So with my stop loss below this most recent 15 minute support. So I was initially aiming 80% to be off at 139.700. And then the rest would then go up to fill the clean, to fill the previous daily week. So that was the intention of the trade. But in this case, um, I entered half first, seeing that this was actually a 15 minute close and was a weaker entry. And then when the next 30 minute actually closed bullish, also above all these areas, I waited for the next candle to flip bullish before entering. So then after that, it closed bearish. So when I was on the 15 minute, seeing the trade close bearish over here, um, it was still above my zone. So I left the trade as it was. But when this next candle actually broke below this wick low, I cut off half of my trade. So when it then finally closed without a top wick, technically I should not have entered. Um, when this next candle actually flipped bullish on the one hour here. So I, I re-entered my position. Then when, when the one hour flipped bullish, because I saw that this one hour candle had also closed above all these areas. So the reason why I was ignoring this zone over here, because on the left, it looks like it was some kind of minor support forming here. And then price had already closed above all these rejections and bodies above here. So I thought that coming off a four hour and weekly zone, it should be able to smash through this um, one hour support since you were coming from a higher time frame zone. But unfortunately, there didn't seem to be much um, of London volume today. So when this Hence, the next candle just came down and hit my stop loss. Overall, um, I should not have entered. Re-entered on the one hour after this bullish candle actually closed with no top weight as that could have signaled that GJ had not much of a range to go up. Plus, we also had this zone sitting right above it. Right, so that was how I could have done better on this trade today.